Hour number three of the show. we got a special guest just off the practice field. Bill's first-round draft pick, ninth overall selection in the NFL draft a couple of months ago. Two NFL games under his belt. Happy to have Ed Oliver in studio with us. How are you doing? Happy to be here. Great. Thanks for coming in. I'm off the field, I want to start right with this. You, We talked about you and your horses in, at your home uh, in Texas. Have you done anything with the horses or up here with horses since you've been here? Uh, I'm getting a little spot in my house cleared off for them right now. Uh, Excellent. I don't know how soon or, or when they actually get here, but they coming. How gotcha. many do you have? Uh, I have four right now, but... Uh, Ain't no telling when I how many I have when I get up here. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Yeah. You, got, you got your boys hauling them up then? No, I'm gonna go get my own horse. You're gonna go down and get them and drive them up here? Yeah. But I don't think they're gonna get here. Like it's nothing. Well, yeah, <laughs> it sounds like a bye week break. thing, no? No, nah, it, it'll definitely be after the season. Maybe oh, okay. next year doing OTAs. Right. It goes. It's a lot to going into that. I got to get the barn put up. Got to got to find time to do that. So it's gonna be a long you process. And then with the snow. Who knows how long it right. is. That sounds like you're planning on like twenty four like three hundred sixty five days a year being up here, home base. Uh nah, but it ain't it ain't that bad to take horses back. Yeah, okay. Back and forth. You back. miss them, huh? Yeah, I do. What do you miss about it? It's just just a way for me to just get away. It's common to me. It's a way for me to relax and it's a it's a fun way to stay out of trouble. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> a good yeah. way to stay out of yeah, trouble. Yeah, there you go. Ed Oliver, our guest, Bill's uh, defensive lineman. Uh, so anything about the, your first two games in the NFL surprised you? Like, whoa, I didn't expect that, or I didn't see that coming. Um, just playing in an atmosphere like that, the big, the biggest stadium, uh, crazy fans driving up to the game. Fans, fans are just crazy. And uh, obviously you, you had a waste stadium, so they don't like you. So right, right. Just things like that and just going in there, overcoming adversity. And it's been a fun two games. You've, you've got a chance to, you know, come out and play in two games. This last second game against the Giants, they came out and they really had some some success in their first drive. And then you guys tightened it up. What was it like? What was the messaging? I mean, you don't have to get in the X's and O's, but what, what was the vibe on the sideline after that first series in New York? It's just how, uh, it's how we practice. It's how we train. Um, I can't preach to it more than that. It's just calm, breeze, calm. Uh, that's what they preach to us. And, Honestly, on the sideline, when that happened, it, it wasn't like, oh, what are we going to do? Run around with your head on fire. It's it just calm down, play football. And that's what we did. Tighten it up and play a good game. After the Jets game, in which the Bills were down 16 to nothing, talking to Micah Hyde, pretty veteran guy, mm -hmm. he said something along the lines of, this is what we're built for. It's almost as like, yeah, we expect that we're going to have troubles and we're going to have to overcome. Is that the message that they get to the younger guys like you? Yeah, um, it's trials and tribulations. Actually, the coach played... Um, what game was that in preseason? Came all the way back at the end. I yeah, think the last game. Yeah, I, I think he played that game, or, or maybe it was the um, the one with the pick. I mean, the strip at the end to seal the game. I don't know. He played yeah. one of them, and uh, I don't know why because it's just coincidence how it just lined up like that, and he was showing how hard we played, and we played the whole game, and and you never know, so. We went out there. You just never panic and just keep faith. Yeah, it shows. What's the vibe on your side of the ball like? I know you guys have that mindset where you want to get better and better and better. You played very well in the first couple of weeks. Um, what's the vibe like? What's the next step for this defense? Um, they, they they just preach to us. Just do your job. Do your one eleven. Uh, that's the most important thing about about our defense. Is there, if everybody does their job, we'd be pretty good. We'd be pretty special. So. Just, just getting better at our job every day and just execute. If you execute your assignment, we'll be all right. And when the Bills drafted you, and even before, you know, after they drafted you and brought you in here, kind of your calling card was going to be your quickness and your athleticism, and that's been on display through a couple of games. Have there been times in these games when you think, wow, he didn't realize how quick I was or how, how quickly I, I got off the snap? I mean, there have been times when it looked like that, but I wonder if, if opponents react that way, that way through the first couple of games. Uh the, like, like I said, I don't know. I'm, most of the time I'm just out there having fun, just doing what I love to do. Um, it's, been a, it's been a long time coming, so just me getting a chance to go out there and play and just let loose and have fun, it, it's a great feeling. Yeah, you play that position down inside where you know fans see you jump off and get across the line of scrimmage real quick, explosion, your quickness and stuff shines through. But you're kind of playing a position where it's tough to get like numbers and stats. 
a bunch of. We're gonna have to change that. I need something. Yeah, right. <laughs> real soon. But you gotta know they got they've been pretty happy with what you've been doing, even though it doesn't show up for fans. But you batting down passes, you've been doing. You set up the the interception by Trent mm -hmm. Murphy the other day. Like like it all goes back to doing your one eleven, or whether that's me getting the sack or me setting up the sack or me just executing my job. Is you gotta do your one eleven and. Uh, that's that's just what I gotta do, man. I, I gotta do my one eleven. Um, play within the scheme and and make as many plays as you can within the scheme. Do you do your job. That's it. And I want to ask you about a picture I saw on uh, social media of you in a t-shirt, not unlike the one you have on here, but on the shoulder here, you had the word chip. In other words, a chip on your shoulder. <laughs> where'd, yeah. Where'd you get? Is that a Bill shirt? I can't tell. No, nah, that's a it's a uh, University of Houston shirt. Oh, okay. Oh, very and that nice. was a thing down there. You don't have any reason to have a chip on your shoulder, do you? I got a plenty of reason to have a chip on my shoulder. Like what? Yeah. What's the biggest chip on your shoulder? Uh, just just where I'm coming from, the odds stacked against me. Uh, it was just you got to have something about you to to come from where I came from to where I am now. You have to have something about you. You have to have something that constantly reminds you of what you don't want to go back to and and what pushing you to go forward. So okay. I would have a chip on my shoulder. Okay. Where do you want to go? I'm not saying any goal, but I just want to do my 111. I'm going to just say <laughs> that. You're not getting no goals out of me. <laughs> One right. thing uh, I've also noted, that you, Kyle Williams has been around a couple of times in training camp. He was here week one. Uh, what are you getting from him, and why have you referred to him as your cheat code? <laughs> Cause, I mean, literally he is. I mean, when, uh, when Kyle come down, it just... I don't know if it's a if he just it's a confident thing with him or or what he just you know, when I see Kyle, it's like he did what he did in this league for so long and he knows so much. So if he could do it, why can't I do it? Yeah. And, and looking at him, I like, I know I'm a little bit better athlete than Kyle. Right. <laughs> oh, right. oh, are you <laughs> sure? Shout out to Kyle. And I ain't a good athlete, but I think yeah, he is. Well, I think he, he have it here. And that that's that's more than than anything I could ever do, any forty I could ever run, any quick twitch I could ever have is here with him, and, and that part of the game was what going to take me to the next level. It means something, too, when a guy like Kyle says it, as opposed to if somebody else says it, and you think, okay, I'm, I wonder where he comes from. Yeah. You know Kyle's doing it because it would work for him, correct? Yeah, and, and I know I know when Kyle talked to me, it come from the heart, and uh, it's because he, he wants me to succeed. And uh, that is just an indescribable feeling when he, when he come to me, talk to me, because I just know what he had to do to get to where he want to go, and him even pouring into me is just, if he's going to pour into you, you better listen. Yeah. So I listen. The first week here, before the first game, he was like your your personal coach, right? You'd come off to the sidelines, yeah. and he was right there. He didn't pay attention to anybody else. I mean, he, he helped out, but uh, I guess I needed the, the most help. <laughs> I guess that's what you're trying to say. I needed the most help. So uh, anything that he could give me, like I say, I, I run to him with anything. How was that play? How was that play? If I could ask him how was that play, every play in the game or, or whatever, I'd do it. Mm -hmm. So you get out here Wednesday of a new week. You're looking towards Cincinnati. What's the out of the box? What are the first impressions of the Bengals coming in here on opening day? How's that going to – being at home changes something maybe a little bit. But uh, what's the first impressions of the Bengals? Well, I mean, it's, it's not – so much about them as it is about us doing our job and, and playing physical, and it's going to come down to who wants it more. Mm -hmm. How have you guys managed to tip so many passes up front, defensive line? Staying active. Uh, whether it be you getting blocked and you block a pass or, or you you in the quarterback's face and you block a pass. E either way it go, however you get it, you get it. and uh, It's just being active, You're always active. It's an effective play. I mean, you got to – Yeah. You got to – Interception out of it last week. Even. Yeah, a turnover. Uh, it's not as good as a sack, but if you can, you're affecting the throw, you're affecting the quarterback. He's going to think about it next time he try to throw the ball through the B gap. So, it, I mean, it is what it is. What's been the uh, personality of the defensive line room? You guys been rotating through a lot. You've watching film together. You kind yeah, of yeah, watching crew. film you together. Got like an eight man uh, crew r running through there. Yeah, uh, that's exactly what it is. Um, I think everybody pretty much so close. We always together. If we're to, if anybody together on the team, the most probably be the D line. Um, like like I know, uh, me and Daryl always with each other. The two rooks that we probably the closest. And then start. I mean, I don't know. We just real close. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. To, to put it in simplest term, we real close. 
You played in in big, loud home ven- or venues anyway in college football. What do you expect out here this week? Uh, your first home regular season game with the Bills. What do you think it'll be like? Uh, I didn't hear so many stories. I expect <laughs> to see somebody go through a table. I don't expect anything <laughs> less than somebody going through a table. There you go. All right. You're not room for that. I hope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ed. We appreciate Thanks, Ed. it. Great. Thanks no for coming in. Ed Oliver, Bills first round draft pick, defensive lineman, joining us. 